So if you just allow yourself to relax wherever you are and uh, it can be helpful to close your eyes and we're going to explore a little bit about the meaning of emptiness. So emptiness has many meanings and one of them is emptiness of meaning and this is quite interesting so what i'd like you to do is imagine all of the perceptions in your life that you consider negative and put them on one side of your mind it can be anything like an irritation a pain a memory a person a situation something that you don't have, something that just is unpleasant. And just become aware of those perceptions and have them in your mind. And now picture the things in your perceptions that you feel are positive. This could be things that you enjoy, proud of, people that you like, situations that you like. And our mind has perceptions that are positive and perceptions that are negative. And based on how many of the negative or the positive we have, or I would say the ratio, is often how we define how we feel. So how do you feel right now with this current balance or imbalance of positive and negative perceptions? You don't have to say anything. Just become aware. And this is a process that's going on almost all the time. An ongoing assessment of what we call our lives. And you might perhaps notice that one of those perceptions on one or both sides is you, the one you think is yourself. And on a day where, for instance, you said you would go to the gym or eat better or do productivity and you didn't, that one goes into the negative side and then the reverse can happen when good things happen it goes on the other side so just become aware of these perceptions and now this is where emptiness comes into play because being quite advanced practitioners you might be able to recognize that these are just thoughts and images perceptions about reality but what's more subtle is the label the labels the labels of positive and negative are also perceptions only that have no inherent nature so our mind is filled with appearances that are arbitrarily labeled with more appearances. And they can move around. Something that was labeled positive can become negative. 
you get a great job, positive, and now you're fearful you might lose your job, negative. And those labels, those positive and negative labels, are very subtle perceptions that have no inherent value either. It's all awareness. It's all perceptions resting in awareness, labeled by more perceptions resting in awareness. And this is the emptiness of value attributed to these things. All of these appearances, the greatest value that they have is they let you know, I am aware. Whatever appearance appears, it's a description and a value brimming with awareness, lucid, clear, illuminated mind, open, expansive and free, stainless and stable and always on. And from this perspective, you begin to see the great vista of awakened mind, which is just the dynamic energy of awareness. And it's perfectly fine to attach the values back and continue in your life with preferences for things you like and dislike. But this understanding, this deeper understanding can dissolve and soften the intensity of that process, which is unnecessary. We still might prefer one ice cream flavor over another. We still might prefer this person to that person, or this location to that location. But all of them are the beauty of our basic space of mind. 